Hello everyone, in this video we're going to extend our diagram with Prometheus and Raffinart. So what we're going to do is we need to set a metric exporter here to Prometheus. So it's going to open up a server as wildcard port 9464 which Prometheus will spread from, in particularly through slash metric endpoint. After that, we will need to provide Raffinart as well. It will use Prometheus as a data source for visualizing metrics. Okay, let's go ahead and add Remetius in our Docker Compose file. Okay, let's take a look at it. So in here we will have the image Remetius and we will run this Remetius with the configuration file. We're going to provide this file through the local file as docker folder Remetius, Remetius .yaml. Okay, so let's go into do it. So we need to have a Docker at Docker folder and in that Prometheus folder. Prometheus and we need this file. So this file will be mapped into a Docker image as this one and will be run here. Okay, in this Prometheus.yaml, we're going to have setting our script configs. So we have a job name, I'll name it uh, Hotel Java Agent. And here you can see we uh, will scrape data from HTTP or the service 9464 slash metric right all the service 9464 plus metrics so that's good on Remetia's side now we need to set up a metric exporter on java agent side okay how do we do that okay so to set it we need to set the old hell metric exporter to Remetia's and then we also need the old hell exporter Remetia's port and host so by default, it's going to 0, 0, 0, 0, 94, 64. So by default, we don't have to explicitly declare it, but I will explicitly declare it uh, for make it clear first. Mm -hmm. Here, so metric is ported, locking, and ordered property as well, Remetius hot and Remetius port. So now basically, we fulfill the requirement here. Set up Remetius exporter. Open this port. And Remetius will scrap from this port. Okay. Now we have Remetius port in place. Let's run it and check the connection. Okay. So Remetius will be available on port 1990. local hot 1990s and we are going to paste that target and we see here so the state is up for our endpoint so it means we successfully connect Prometheus to our Spring Boot server okay that's good let's move on and setting up our Raffinart similar to Prometheus we need to add Raffinart to our Docker Compose file Okay, let's take a look at our Raffinart. So the image, we will use Raffinart, Raffinart. And similar to Remetius, we would like to provide a configuration file. And, you know, instead of manually adding Remetius as a data shock in UI, we would like to configure the data shock here through that Raffinart data shock of YAML. Okay, let's do it. So also in Docker folder, we're going to have a Rafana folder. And in the Rafana folders, we're going to create this one.
in this file, we are going to specify our data source. So we would like to have a Prometheus as our data source. And the way to check the connection is through the Prometheus 1990 here. So right for now, we need one data source point to our Prometheus, Prometheus 1990. Okay, so now Rafana in place, right? Let's run it again. Okay, now we can access Rafana as port 3000. Take a look at local host 1000 Rafana. So we we'll log in by admin and admin. Same. Admin admin. Login. Uh, I don't want to update the password, so I'll, I'll skip it. Then in here, first we can take a look at the dashboard. Uh, sorry, the data source. So we see mm, we already have one data source and we configure it in the Drafana data source. So we have one data source named Prometheus, right? So basically, if you don't provide this data source here, so we have to add manually. For example, I would like to add another your name Prometheus, and yeah, the same. I would like to provide uh, Prometheus nineteen ninety, and I would check. The connection as well, so there's no authentication, nothing else. Okay. Then, so now this is the way we do it manually. Okay. Then, let's build a dashboard. So we in here, going to dashboard, and we will import. So we will import from Rafanar dashboard and today we will use this template GVM overview open telemetry. Okay, I'll copy the ID and I'll pass it here. Lot it. Okay, so select one data source. So basically they are the same, right? <laughs> so this is the one we configure automatically and this one the one we manually configure. Okay. Then import okay so now we can see some data cpu utilization heap memories so we already successfully configured our data to send matrix data to Remitius. Uh okay so this is some metrics about the http server request okay let's try to send something uh localhost ordered one. I would like to send some error as well. Three. Refresh many times. Something like that. Two. One. Pim 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 pim. Okay. So. That's one hour. I'm going to refresh the dashboard. Okay, you need, we're going to have some data about the number of requests, requests per second. Right? Okay, the error rate as well. So we have some errors when we send to uh, the order with ID 3. Okay, so we have some error, duration, time. So it's percentiles. We already discussed it in uh, Spring Boot Actual Thermometer. Okay. We will end this video here. Thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and the series. Hope you can learn something new here and see you in the next video. Happy coding.